Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So today we are group 3. We will be presenting the two methodology used in the articles of Malayan Tapirs. Before that, I want to introduce our group members. First is Adila Aiman, Muhammad Shafiq, Nur Batrisha Balkis, Muhammad Faiz and also Muhammad Nazri. Before we discuss about the methodology, I am Nur Patricia Balkis will introduce you to Malayan Tapir. Malayan Tapir or their scientific name is Tapiris Indicus are the largest of extant tapirs. According to IUCN, there are less than 2,500 matured Malayan Tapirs left. They inhabit in rainforests in southeastern Asia. Malayan tapir are herbivorous mammals that can grow up to 1.8 until 2.5 meter length and 90 to 110 centimeter tall. Usually, female tapirs are larger than male tapirs. They are physic some of physical characteristics of Malayan tapirs. They have black and white body, small eyes, stubby vestigial tail, long snout, and three hooves at back feet and four hooves at front feet. These are the articles that we chose. In the first article, they, the method that they use is camera traps, while in the second article, the method that they use is microchips and GPS collar. I will pass to the next presenter. Hi everyone, today I want to talk about our first method, which is camera trap. What is a camera trap? Camera trap is a camera that will automatically be triggered by any change in some activity in its surrounding. The camera is usually connected with a motion sensor to detect any movement of animal, which is an infrared sensor which can see warm objects that are moving. Usually, this uh, camera uh, using a passive infrared sens uh, sensor or active infrared sensor. The main purpose of this method is uh, capturing wild animal in film without the presence of anyone in the area. Next, the special feature in camera trap. The first one is built with a strong durability. Camera trap has been built with very strong durability to withstand any eventually in the forest. Next, long life battery. A camera trap has a long life battery, so it can be left in the field to continuously watch an area of habitat for weeks or even a month. That's it for me. Uh, I will pass to ne uh, next presenter. The data that researchers gain from camera traps can be used for various ways. For example, detection of rare species such as tape, estimation of population size, species richness and how species interact. The data that we get always be superior to humans because they can be analyzed by other researchers. Not only that, this method will be better than other methods that are more aggressive such as live trap and release where we need to catch the animal to get the information and then release it back. By using camera traps, we can minimize disturbance to wildlife. Camera traps will be helpful in monitoring the number of different species or specific species in the area. For example, we want to identify the number of Malayan tapir in Peninsula Malaysia. From this, we can get the survival rates of certain species that can be observed over time. By using camera trapping methods, a group of researchers was able to access tape occurrence in the eight forest reserve that is located outside the main protected areas in Peninsula Malaysia. For the result, after six years, out of 335 345 camera trapping locations, they detected tape at 39 locations represented by 980 images. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, as known as IUCN, has classified the Malayan tape as an endangered species. In general, too, a male Malayan tape has been rescued from a surface trap near Ailerat, Negeri Sembilan and will be translocated to Senalit Inas Forest Reserve, Negeri Sembilan. Before translocation, Malayan tape was weighted and anesthetized. While under sedation, a passive microchip by data mask was implanted behind the left ear 
At the same time, Malayan Tape was wearing a GPS collar. After that, the Malayan Tape was translocated to a new location. Passive microchip the purpose is to be used in the identification of Malayan Tape. This passive microchip, one-way implanter and painless implantation. GPS collar used to track the coordinates of the Malayan Tape. The data from the coordinates will be transferred to the desktop. The data will be analyzed by Microsoft Excel and will present in the form of a bar graph. Next, the best method for future wildlife study. So, our group decide to choose microchips and GPS collar as the best method. It is because this method have a lot of advantage, which is we can keep tracking the current location of animal via satellite. Using this method, more faster and easier for us to get the data faster and accurately without incurring much cost. Furthermore, we can feel the experience approaching the animal. In addition, this method very suitable for the development and advancement of technology in future.